Dear friends, why is it difficult to believe that Jesus Christ is the literal Son of God when the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son? Why is it difficult to accept the, that the word begotten means what it says? Why is it that begotten is being translated as unique and that the word son means metaphoric or non-literal? This is the heart of the many philosophical ideas about who Jesus the Messiah is. I believe that Jesus is the divine Son of God, as revealed in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes, that is the key, whosoever believes that He, he is who He claims to be, then we will have eternal life. But those who do not believe will be condemned. It is very simple, friends. The doctrine of Trinity does not believe that Jesus is the literal Son of God. They believe that Jesus is just playing the role of the Son. He is not actual Son. This is what Satan would like us all to believe. That Jesus is a liar. He's not who he claims to be. Did you catch it, friend? If we do not believe the witness of Christ himself, how could we believe the witness of Nathaniel, of Peter, of Martha, of Ellen G. White, of the early Adventist pioneers? All of them believe that Jesus is indeed the literal Son of God. The Word of God is clear, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. This is not a role play. This is a fact that Jesus is the literal Son of God. How he became the Son of God, I don't know, but I believe in what the Bible says. Why is it so easy then to believe that Jesus is another self-existing, co-eternal God who just pretended to be a son? I don't know why people easily believe that. Yes, we have the Word of God as a witness. And we have the enemy of God as opposing the truth about who Jesus is. So the great controversy is in plain sight. Whether we believe that Jesus is the literal Son of God, He claims to be, or we refuse to believe, and we will believe the explanation of man in the Trinity doctrine. I am convinced that Jesus did not confuse the people, his disciples, when he came on this earth. I pray that as we study this subject, we will not just believe what man would like us to believe, even though it is not from the Bible. But I would rather suggest we believe what Christ said about his Father and who he is and their spirit. You see, friends, the truth about Trinity is Jesus is not the literal and actual Son. Therefore, there is no Father. There is no real Father. They are just metaphoric figures. If there is no Son, of course there is no Father. And there are three gods that desires our homage and our worship. Would you believe that rather than believe in what the Bible says? That there is one God and He gave His only begotten Son? Friends, 
it is time to think about these things and make the right decision whom to serve and who to follow. May the only true God and His Son, Jesus Christ, the Divine Son, bless you and keep you and their Holy Spirit comfort you.